Uh, is the Tour de France too hard? Now, so yesterday, it was quite a crazy stage, like three and a half thousand meters of climbing, 130, 140K, something like that. And we had Gaviria, Gripo, and Groenewegen all out for Tour de France. The day before that was about 110 kilometers. And again, we had K Kittel, Cavendish, Mark Renshaw all going out uh, of the Tour de France. So for me, it seems like they either need to change the time cuts or they need to make them or they need to make the stages a little bit easier uh, or not necessarily easier but just like don't make them ridiculously hard because this Tour de France has been very hard um, like having the cobbles that makes a lot of people crash and then when they crash they can't perform as well so people abandon so we also have Galapan is uh, said Cheerio as well G Greipel, Gaviria, uh, Seaberg so then for the sprinters it's like you're Sagan so he'll probably win a lot of stages. Demar, Degenkolb, Christoph, Colbrelli. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful, but they aren't really that good. Like, they haven't won any stages. Every bloke who's won a stage in a flat sprint, okay, fine, Sagan has, but that was also mainly because of a crash. But in a flat sprint, like with no crashes, let's say, they haven't won. Okay, Sagan, we will ignore Sagan. The rest of them, Demar, Degenkolb, Christoph, Colbrelli, like they're fast, but they're not Gaviria, they're not Groenewegen. Um... They're not even Greipel. I mean, they're just not that the same level, um, in my opinion, and they haven't really demonstrated it. Denkholz been good on the cobbles, but in a flat sprint, really, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen um, that he managed to beat them. So it leads you to the point of like, well, if you want to have sprint stages early on, then you're going to have to have a week of sprint stages and then just expect the guys to go out the back um, and not have any sprint stages. Because now the sprint stages are going to be pretty dead because you don't have the best sprinters here. Um, and I don't really get what the ASO are trying to do um, in terms of this because, okay, they had a lot of sprint stages early on. Do they just expect people are going to do that and then say cheerio and then not get to the Champs Elysees? Like, the good thing about the Tour de France normally is because the sprinters really want to get to the Champs Elysees because it's such a big thing. Like, if you win on the Champs Elysees, you're, you're a legend, like Groenewegen last year. Well, like, even the Giro, as soon as it gets to the mountains, people are like, well, there's no point because no one cares about winning the last stage normally. Um, and also, I guess the tours, they're concentrating on that. In the tour, normally everyone fights so hard to stay on. But if it just gets ridiculous, like, there's also going to be a, a stage 17, 65 kilometers long. Like, when you think about the percentage of time, it's going to be almost impossible for some sprinters to stay on. Because even if they ride literally full gas from the minute, like, zero, from kilometer zero, they're just not going to survive. Um, I th think the ASO need to, like, rethink this. Either increase the time, the percentage of the time, so that they, more sprinters will stay in. Um, or... I guess, I don't know if you want to make it easier. Like it, it's good how it is at the moment, but you're going to have to change something because otherwise the sprinters are just going to be saying cheerio far, far too often. Um, and I don't think that's great for the sport or the spectacle of the Tour de France because sprint stages are supposed to be really exciting and you're supposed to have your best sprinters. Like Obviously, sprinters need to be able to climb, but like at some point you're just like, well, they're never going to win. So like it doesn't really matter if they finish like half an hour behind the finishes or like 50 minutes behind the finishes. Like It's quite far. Um, and I, I don't really, I don't really understand it sometimes. You're just like, you know, just let them race. Like, okay, they're never going to do well. Like they shouldn't, I don't, I don't understand they don't have track sprinters there, but like they're not going to get track sprinters anyway. Like they're going to all climb. It's just, I don't know. It just make, makes the race a little bit stupid. Um, when most of your sprinters are going home because the time cuts are just impossible. I mean, if it's just like one or two, like Cav and Kiddo, I was like, well, yeah, probably go home. But today when you suddenly get Groenewegen, and Greip or Gaviria, you're like, really? But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Do you think the Tour de France is too hard for the sprinters? Or should it be made harder and the percentage, the, the time cut is more generous? Um, or just keep it the same and just say, sorry, sprinters, um, you'll have to, you just have to climb better. And then maybe sprinters will change their, their training a lot more and focus more on their climbing, I guess, even more than they do now. It'll be interesting. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.